Cheryl, that explosion was so intense. Police officers pointed out there's actually a piece of wood impaled in the front of the building across the street from it. Now, based on what's left behind from the damage, it appears the explosion was concentrated on the top floor of that building. Now, tonight, multiple agencies are trying to figure out what caused it. Heavy excavation equipment scrapes off the dangling scabs of a badly damaged building. What's left of the top floor of the West Side apartment building is a skeleton. The exterior wall is now gone, left torn open and fully exposed by a still unexplained explosion. Up and down the block on West Central Avenue, reverberation shattered windows and knocked people clean off their feet. I just, I got up off the floor. I didn't even see myself fall down. Uh, I got up off the floor and just ran straight out the door. It knocked you to the ground? Yeah. Well, I woke up off the ground, uh, I can say, because I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't remember hitting the ground, like falling to the ground. I just remember getting up and running. The third floor hallway, he says, was a fog of chaos, a mix of disorienting panic, dust, and doors blown off the hinges. As I was running out, um, they, couldn't, they couldn't see where to go. It was so much smoke, so they just followed behind me. So when I was running out, I couldn't count it. Outside, neighbors watched the explosion site partially collapse on itself. People were just running from every, every direction, and they was bringing people out on stretchers. Um, and one man, he was bleeding everywhere that they put on the stretcher. Rescue crews quickly picked through the debris. We're confident we got everybody out. Somewhere in what's now a mound of dark rubble, investigators with the building's department and people's gas hope to find what caused part of this corner building to combust. Agents with People's Gas were out here on the scene for hours today, working with investigators from several different departments. But tonight they say they don't believe that the gas service is the cause of this explosion. But that, of course, will be part of the ongoing investigation. This building also did not have any pending enforcement cases with the city's Department of Buildings. But they'll also be involved in this investigation to figure out exactly what caused this blast. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.